Hello, uh, survivors of the nuclear apocalypse. Welcome back to Atom RPG and playing hardball. So we have been rather successful lately. We transported some stuff to our new base. And I crafted something interesting. Uh, where we got the um, recipe already, which is the Percussion Revolver Plus. A better version, so there, that one. And that one is actually sellable for like 200 or so, or like or 290 or something to this uh, to the guy. Yeah, but I mean, unless we are really swimming in crafting material, it's probably not worth it. However, oh yeah, I uh, I brought these these here, the quality zip gun. I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's actually uh, worth. Actually, we can sell it here to the guy. Oh, there, uh, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? They are gone. Where's the trader? Well, that's a bit weird. The trader's gone. But well, doesn't matter. So, <clears throat> let's go. We are going to Krasnoznameni. Oh, there's something there as well. Yeah, but we need to go to Kresos Nameni. And, uh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna also, what is here? Oh, we stumble upon a strange symbiosis of rats and mutated wasps. If we won't do anything, they will surely attack. Oh, we are so good in survival, we could escape now, but we are, of course, attacking, right? Ah, they are coming there, okay. But that, that asks for a melee fight. No use to waste any ammo on these creatures. There you go. Poor thing. There are quite a lot of them. Or well, some of them. Yeah. Leave it to the others, huh? They can get red too. So let's run like there. She like so. Ending the turn. Doggy? Yeah. Well, that didn't make much sense, but I oh, yeah, very good. That one is dead. Uh, oh, that one, huh? We did some uh, shadow punch. <clears throat> well, here we go. Into the eyes. There are more, but otherwise, I yeah. no, that's it. <clears throat> Just these two more. With the eyes. Yeah, well, and that's it. Doggy. Very good. Very good indeed. Our doggy got his a level. Juba, Julba. Some fresh, tasty red meat. Only slightly radiated. And by the way, I did some reading because I found the idea so funny. 
or rather weird uh, about the fact that milk and vodka in this game are actually supposed to be uh, things that help you against radiation and uh, that is also a joke because milk is actually horribly bad because uh, cows that eat uh, the grass that is usually radiated because there are particles on it yeah they they eat it and then uh, they produce the milk and um, the whole process is so quick that they usually that there's usually um, a very high amount of radiation in, in fresh milk uh, because there is of course um, uh, this this half value time yeah like there there's uh, one or, or several uh, radioactive isotopes you know that that uh, that are neutralized actually that after a couple of days like after eight days or so but uh, with milk uh, it's usually like as fresh as like around two days or something yeah so usually you, you get a high dose of radioactivity and alcohol uh, probably only makes you feel better and don't care so much about the radiation yeah but as it's also a cellular poison it doesn't really help either yeah to neutralize anything or flush out anything yeah so the, those are just legends but uh, like during the uh, the incidents like Chernobyl or something uh, the Russians indeed told p the people well just drink vodka <laughs> because that was basically like I guess uh, the the regular medicine yeah um, that people could use or did use and they didn't have much else anyway yeah and I guess that's that's the whole thing but uh, that's actually big BS yeah saving oh yeah and by the way so our doggy there you go martial arts yeah, so let's push this one to 160 and then maybe stealth. Let's put more into stealth there. And he's got three now. Yeah. Well, we didn't see any dog armor. But yeah, I think it's still a good idea to actually. So here, saving. What is this here? To not invest the points, is there something here? Oh yeah. So what is it? Is it a bunker? Oh! What do we have here? I'm not sure if we are supposed to be here. But I guess we'll find out. Can we actually go there? Oh yeah, we can. Oh, oh. And it is highly radiated. So yeah, actually. Oh, and there's a lot of blood here. Oh, that's not good. So actually, I think we need to get. Some equipment. That's help, that helps us like a gas mask or something but it's good to know that there's something like this here nothing there this is like this seems to be a standard thing like these two pill boxes okay but well that's good to know so some form of little bunker but here we need to be protected way better than a do-it-yourself respirator I want I want to be uh, attacked by oh we stumble upon a fortified slaver camp do we want to attack it yeah of course that seems to be oh yeah slave hunter oh well, 
saving. So this could be a tougher fight. Slave Hunter. That guy has a pistol. Is he coming for us? Let's go over there. Let's keep a distance. Let's first scout. They've got lot of, lot of, lots of bricks. That guy has an MP. He's possibly the worst guy on long range because he's got some form of hunting rifle. Oh, yeah. That guy has an axe. Oh, there are more. Okay. This guy has one of the Mauser pistols, it looks like. It's a would-be slave. And he looks like a brawler. Yeah. With tire armor. Okay, so I guess we come from here. Yeah, I think it's best if we come from here. And we shoot this guy and that uh, and this guy, yeah. There we go. Aim shot into the ice, very nice. Spastically clutches his bloody face, very nice. Let's have another one in the ice. There you go. First one is down, very good. Very nice sneak attack over here. Very nice indeed, guys. Let's reload our hunting rifle. Just in case, and then... Let's go here. Yeah. Turn. Are they running? Are they afraid now? Well, let's run here then. Not there. Ah, he's coming there. Okay, but now we do have we have the advantage here. Ah, there. Okay, we want to shoot this guy in the head. Aim shot in the eyes. And another one in the eyes. Or should we maybe even use our crossbow, the metal? Oh. Okay, that's good. Although I actually wanted to make an aim shot, but well, that's fine. Going here. Oh, jammed. Oh, there's another one with the hunting rifle or something. And shot. And another one. 
Nice. Oh. Why did he just stun us? Very good. How is he actually shooting at us? But well. There, shooting him in the head. Nice. Nice. 76. I like it how they fall. So it looks really good. I just wish we could just, uh, you know, kneel down or something. Going here. Ah, we have one shot left now. Well, we need to turn. M shot in the eyes. Oh, you almost blinded me, you wanker. And now we need to reload, yeah. And the turn, and you are shooting him, I guess. Okay, he's surviving, okay. Let's reload our hunting rifle. And now he's there, yeah. Well, let's end the turn. Oh, well, maybe we need to come around here. So that. It's coming. Okay, good. And I feel that we want to rather... Like here and shoot him. There. 98. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Just one more, huh? Oh no, there's another one. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah, so this is the X guy, okay. Need the turn, okay. Running towards the guy. Ah, he's, yeah, he's got a heavy glove or something, or knuckles. Ah, well, let's reload this one. Into the eyes. Very nice. So I think the bow, the crossbow has a very high crit chance. Reloading. This guy has a head. Okay. But he wants to come around there, I guess. That's actually very convenient. Oh yeah, so he's, uh, he's trying to run away. Going around like so, yeah, there he comes, okay. Ninety-four into the ice. Very nice indeed. 450 experience, wow. Very cool. Let's loot the guys and then we are going to... Oh, this is great. And we meet her around, go to Hexogen. Oh, the guy had a homemade grenade. Huh? This one we take. Can't entrust our guys with that. Saving. That was a nice fight. Oh, he had a rusty PPS5. And yeah, well, exogen gets all. Oh, it was a rusty rifle. Well, ah, rope. That's good. That is very good indeed. And by the way, I think it's time for your bag. There you go.
9 millimeter rounds go to hexogen. Oh, we are hungry, okay. The knife we take, because then we can directly sharpen it. Exogen, about 7.9 kilograms, okay. Let's put this one here. Tire armor. There. Not slightly too much. Then like so. And then Fidel takes the rest. Ah oh, yeah, he's got a weighted glove, okay. That is excellent. So finally we have some merchandise to sell, right? Yeah, we will help you guys. Firstly, we need to check out the stuff. Oh, a new sort of shotgun. Very nice. Very nice indeed. But I think we are still... Well, let's, let's compare it with our stuff. But otherwise, Fidel can take this here. So, uh, let's check it. Yeah, it doesn't jam. That's the thing. 10 to 18 and we have 11 to 21, but but the 10% jamming chance and that's the thing, right? AP cost is five, this is AP cost four. So this is actually, I believe this is maybe a better weapon, although we should have more raw damage with our tree barrel gun. But this one doesn't have an accuracy penalty as well, so we can actually really shoot people like in a way a shotgun is meant to. Yeah. Well, that's all. That is indeed rather nice. Okay. Saving. So they were hunting the slaves. Yeah, you guys. We are just needing a moment. We just need to secure the area. Then we will come for you and let you out. Because you are slaves no longer. Okay, that's all. Okay, well. But that was pretty nice. So how do we... There we go. Yeah. Open it. There you go. You are free, guys. It would better to die than be a slave. I hate slavers. Where does such scum even come from? Thanks for saving me from those freaks. Okay, guys. So if you if you have a place, go there. If not, check out Red Fighter Base. We can always use some some folk. Also, we have some farmland. Yeah. We want to work to get the economy going. Okay, so it looks good. Oh, there was something here. Something here. But the good thing is now we have some merchandise. Very good. And we got really a lot of experience here. That's very nice. So I hope didn't forget anything. No, that's good. There was a nice fight. Although, well, we have we have better weapons. And Exogen never shot. 
Yeah. That is an issue, but yeah. So let's go to Krasnoslameni. Because, ah oh yeah, and we can actually eat something. Um, we wanted to eat something. There. Some nice roasted meat. Hmm, that's good. Okay, we lose five exp uh, five points, but it's fine. So. That is fine. There we go. Nothing here anyway. And then we are going to buy some uh, some more books. Quick save. And also, there's the strategist. Let's save, and then we are talking to the strategist. Hello, so... How, how are things? Let us see what you have. Special offer, offer today? Yeah. 85 rubles. Mm. So let's see. What did we collect? Or the axe. You can actually... For 85 rubles. Oh, well, we could actually use some more vodka. How about this one here? 73. Um, yeah. Let's give that to him and one more helmet. And then... Ah, he doesn't have the real vodka. Okay, no, then under these circumstances we just take the money. Trade, and then maybe he's even using these weapons to equip himself. Okay, so then let's talk to the strategist. Strategist is lounging in his chair, rubbing his tired eyes. You've completed the mission. Congratulations. The guys are already on their way to the slavers traders assembly point. We're going to deliver a preemptive strike. The man snaps his fingers and rummages about in his pockets, pulling out a bundle of creased bills. For your hard work, 400 rubles. 400? That's not what Grandma would call generous. It's not enough, all right, name your price. Finding those mercs took quite a lot of travel. I think an extra 150 would be fair, right? The strategist takes a moment to stir the watery tea at the bottom of his mug. Agreed, here's your extra 150. Don't forget the 400, and while we are at it, tell me about your other plan. The strategist hands us the money and holds up two crossed fingers. Plans? I think I spelled them out already. Attack our enemies before they get to the village and nip that menace in the butt. By the way, you could help me with that. I'd be happy to. What's the location? But first, let's decide on the payment. Sure, I'll pay you the standard fee of 500 rubles plus any spoils from the guerrilla fighters you killed. This is the sacred right of any victor. Okay, um, what should I expect when I get there? What can you tell me about the opposition? The enemy detachment is quite large, but don't worry, three of our mutual friends will be helping you. They are experienced fighters and this isn't their first rodeo. 
Okay, I'd be happy to. What location? Great. Have you heard of the end of the road? My intel suggests the slave traders have set up camp there. There's still time, but you don't want to miss the fun. You'd better get going. Give me your map. I'll mark it for you. Freddy just lays our map alongside his own and marks the spot by drawing a circle with his compass. There. Better not dully. It would be best if you coordinate your actions with the others. After the mission, come back to the inn for your combat pay. Don't delay, Hartbalev. We really should move this along. Peter is right. Hurry up, friends. All right, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, there we go. But we need to sell our stuff first. So. And I want to get some more recipes, which is also a good thing because those. So. Quick saving because those will give us some more shooting points. And we just noticed that it was actually quite. Uh, efficient right so by the way we don't really make much money with seed corn so one corn gives us like around four to five rubles and we get six out of it so actually there's no not much use to uh, to actually buy seed somewhere and then plant uh, the corn but yeah so 74 rubles how about, lady, how about a helmet for your hat? I think that's fine, right? Let's do that. Then have a nice day. Let's check out here the merchandise. Yep, our very French looking person guy. And what can he use? Maybe. How about a rusty p pistol huh? for 120? Okay, no. Can't afford that. Maybe... Yeah, well, then... Then it will be... A tire armor and another helmet, I guess. 136, that's too much. Yeah, and we don't want his stuff. That's moonshine. I'd like some vodka. But, uh, yeah, we are not going to have that one. Um, so maybe no tire armor, but the ruble. Uh, the, the, the helmet. And... I mean, two helmets are also too much. Oh, well. He's getting the tire armor after all. Just like this then. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye. Um, and just a second. Saving. Let's look at our gypsy friend. Hello, Sara. Do you have rubles? Yes, you do. It is time for you to protect your your beautiful hat, I, I think. Head, oh, she's paying really badly. Okay, no, then you, she doesn't get anything from us. She's dealing in devil's weed. Okay, so... Yeah. Ah, that's... Oh, that's my hero again. I foresaw your arrival. Well, that's... I don't doubt it. I bet you also foresaw me leaving now. Bye bye. So, um, let us check out the traders first. There we go. Yep, hello. Hey, hey, hey again. Can I look at your stuff? Oh, what's that? An STSH-81, a Soviet Special Forces helmet designed in the early 1980s light, but so that it quickly replaced the clunky old metal helmets. Oh. Oh, that is beautiful. Here we've got another steel breastplate. But yeah, not for Fidel, because he doesn't have the uh, Praetorian. So that is wonderful, but it is way too expensive for us. Yeah. 
but we can give the guy one oh the price are so bad no we are not selling anything here we can't help it so let's go to the marketplace Oh, and by the way, so which day is it? Yeah, it's already Tuesday. So we missed the lottery. A lonely old man. Apple, Apple, sir. Show me your where. So he's got 78 rubles and he's a trader for 120. So that is okay. Although the price is rather bad, but yeah. What should we do, right? What should we do? So we can only give him the tire armor. Like so. Let's go here. Talking with the lady. Hello, good day. Also 120, uh, now nah, well, I mean we need to sell the stuff somewhere, right? Um, Yeah, well, she gets the helmet. This camping hat. For the war, such hats were used by campers and dacha owners. There you go. So, trade. That hat, uh, will serve her nicely right oh there's the aunt again plump guy hello glad to see you again show me your wares oh he's at 135 no then thank you uh, oh sorry and what does he have actually he's got 128 and a lot of milk yeah so in here this guy who's selling all the stuff that is electronic and stuff yeah he's so he's a better person to, sh to sell stuff to so how about we sell him this year 238 so and how about one super glue the rest in money this like so because I think I'm not sure but I think we don't have any super glue at least not uh, in our base and then it's actually it's fine yeah and we could use more scrap metal actually But let's first try the others, the other traders. Oh, he's got a lot of money and also 120. Okay, that's good. He's got a lot. Yeah, sorry. Let's sell the thorny armor. And the leather armor, huh? Oh, it's, it's no leather armor, it's uh, another thorny armor. So that, that's actually excellent.
Yeah, let's do it just like that. Okay, thanks. Have a nice day. Then the fish guy. He's got 200 rubles, but he's uh, paying even worse. So then, no thank you. How much is actually one waste paper? Yeah, 16 rubles. So then let's go into the canalization. Ah, no, firstly we are checking out the trash. Going through the trash, that's great. Some waste paper. The treasure chest, excellent. Some scrap, that's good. And then we go through the canalization. Descending. Ah, that was actually like the perfect spot. So, and then we are going to these guys. We are Fade. Hello, fat bearded man who is a bit weird. Um, ah, yeah, 106. Oh, and yeah, he has the vodka. That's good. So, and. He is into weapons, that's good. That is good. However, yeah, like one, it can only cost like 140 or so. Two vodka bottles. 140. Oh no, that's really sad. Um, hmm. Well, what to do? I guess we have to sell the... Well, what's, what is actually the cheapest? Yeah. So we have to sell him the rusty rifle. There you go. And then we need to get some more stuff. So maybe... Personality strength. Ah, well, then let's take this one against the radiation. The pre-war cognac. There, that's, that's the best we can get. Okay, trading lots of alcohol. So, no thanks, I'm in a hurry. We're not drinking anything ourselves, Shimon or Simon Spack. How's he doing? Okay, he doesn't have anything, he's just some form of tobacco merchant or whatever. Um, oh yeah, and by the way, let's save. Let's talk with him about the cultist. Cultist problem? Okay, to go. Okay. Yeah, actually, we, it appears that we only have to kill the cultist and then that's that. Oh yeah, so and he has some money. Oh yeah, that's actually great. He has also... Some stuff. He has also the... Oh. oh no, we could have gotten the uh, the percussion revolver, the, the plus, the percussion revolver plus here for 202 and I think we paid way more at Abraham's. Yeah. 
Okay, well, so let's give him some weapons now that he's such a weapon dealer. Exogen. He's got 350 rubles. And like actually all of this. Three hundred ninety-five. Hmm. Ah well, I think we can do it like this. If it doesn't look so rusty, the TT pistol, but whatever. Nagant. Yeah, I think we can do it like this, huh? Trade. There you go. Oh, whoa. nice. We have 4,900 rubles now. See ya. Oh, here. Saving. We need to sell the other stuff, but I think there is no other real trader there. Um, only at the hospital, basically. Well, and then of course this other guy here, but there, there everything is so expensive. Um, that it would be literal idiocy sell any uh, anything of our stuff at those guys but I guess we can't really do anything else hello Lera so here we go it's going ah the pharmacy of course no the other the pharmacy you can uh, use as well so here we go saving hello Sana how are you doing <laughs> very well yeah imagine okay oh you don't have any money you do have the triple cologne though so how about we get it like that's the fourth one so for 200 how about a rusty pistol or something for you she's already got that stuff there Like for 200, hmm. I mean, I don't feel that uh, that we should. Yeah, doesn't make much sense, right? Giving her stuff that we don't really need, and yeah, I mean, we don't need the cologne, so or not, not very desperately at least. Sinaida is playing with a small vial of luminous purple liquid. Having noticed us, she happily announces, all done, the antidote is ready. Well, I am happy to hear that. <coughs> Excuse me, just a sneeze. No wasteland disease, that's even a rhyme. Yes, oh, what a great day for the wasteland. Here, your seven potions, as promised, just don't drink them all at once. Well, thank you, let me see. Oh, that's interesting. It's carbonated, it's glowing, it's purple, but despite its look, this antidote does a decent job at being an antidote. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is indeed significant. That's excellent. Hey, dog. So, let's barter. Ah, yeah. You have some stuff. Oh, yeah, and now she sells this one here. Okay, excellent. Excellent. So... And she looks like she wants a rusty PPS, right? So how about, yeah, we get the stimulant. We get this antidote, why not? 483. And then maybe the rusty rifle, huh? This here. And this here, and then maybe we could even get the aprophenum. Yeah, for 10. So, 
because that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Let me take the stuff. Trade. Just becoming a weapons dealer. The lady. Okay, very good. And now we we have uh, one X to deal with and the helmet. But otherwise, we got rid of all the stuff. Yeah. That is good to sell. This here, the weighted glove, we can also use for further crafting. Yeah, that looks good. That looks pretty good. So let's uh, let me just do this one here. And then we are actually going to do something. Saving, crafting, sharpened knife. There you go. Hunting rifle. By the way, so rifles and shotguns, right? here. Yep, that's excellent. So, saving then this here, Doctor Maximov. Very good. I'd like to buy some in a medication. Yeah, show me what you've got. So he's got 289 rubles. That's excellent. How about a sharp knife? Now that he's a surgeon. There we go. Trade. Good luck. Well, and then we got rid of all, all the stuff, basically, right? And we have a little bit, for my test, we have a little bit too much alcohol and stuff. And here for speechcraft. But it's fine. We are keeping, we are keeping the sort of shotgun, I think. But I'd, I'd probably like to uh, try it out. But I like it better because it can't jam. So that's a huge thing. And then we are also not wasting ammo that way. So we could all uh, only sell the quality zip gun. Yeah. And maybe it's time uh, to go in here. How's our situation? Everything is fine. Let's talk with the doctor. The man before us looks tired, tired of people, of work, of life itself. He quickly nods to us, shakes his greasy hand to our surprise, starts talking to us first. Petrov, I'm the local mortician. The man's voice is low and calm, but there's a tragic undertone we barely notice. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Hartbalev. Yes, yes, glad to meet you and all that. What did you want from me? You're not even dead. Uh, can I ask some questions? Well, nothing really. What, what are you doing? I'm a mortician, if you didn't guess. I cut up the cadavers around here. Oh, I see. So, how's that job for you? Must be quite revolting, huh? Bit of shrugs and sighed sadly. To some it might seem all right, but note that it wasn't my profession before the war. I had to learn fast and got hooked on alcohol as a result. I un understand. I guess this can go under your skin, huh? I wouldn't do such a job sober as well. Yeah, if you have some alcohol on you, we can drink it here. Petrov sniffs the air and nervously licks his lips with the tip of his yellowish tongue. Oh, goodness. Well, why not? Are you up to it? But let's firstly, as long as we can actually think straight. How about we sell you this very nice quality zip gun for 134? Right? And then, so if the, oh, let's let's actually have the super stimulant, like one of them, like this, 
and then the rest. Ah, uh, it's not enough. Oh, is it? No. Oh, oh, barely enough. Yeah, okay, great. Show it like this. Okay, so then, why not? Are you up to it? Bit of size and nods. I'm always up to it. What can you offer, though? Well... Would you like some cognac? Now that's a welcome surprise, but a question still remains. Wanna drink it with some clonidine? Uh, you only live once? Well, let the clonidine flow, whatever that is. So be it. Petrov gets a pack of pills from his dirty robe's pocket and crushes them into the glasses. My son knows how to drink hard, but I shall not join him. My old age, it sets limits for drug abuse. There's a suicide, Harpalev. I will not participate in this. The mortician hands us the glass. It contains, its contents have a high probability of making us one of his clients. Oh, Nazdorovye. Let's drink up. Well, now we can't back out. Since Clonidine, we have no idea what that is actually. <laughs> but I just thought, well, he's a medic and stuff, so he is probably, uh, he won't do some something really bad, right? But well, it lowers the blood pressure. Combining it with alcohol makes your blood vessel spasm. You get drunk instantly, and before you know it, you are on the floor. Uh, what now? We don't know how much time has passed. We barely recognize the room we are in. The only thought jumping around in our brain is never again will I drink with that jackass. Try to get up. Uh. 660. Experience though. Now that was a thing, right? That was an experience for the ages. And now we are super hungry. Alcoholism, oh god. So I think... Uh, I think cognac is not the best idea to do this. Also, cognac is way more expensive. So let's rather use the Ukrainian Kurilka, because that is actually increasing our... Uh, endurance, isn't it? The Gorilka, yeah, plus one endurance. Makes us really stupid now, but yeah. So let's do that again. Continue, yeah. So here. What was it? What did we give him? I can't remember because uh, I just got totally shit faced with the guy. I had the qualities of gun, so there we go. And then that was one super stim. And the rest of the money, there we go. There. Nice to meet you, I'm Hartbalev. What are you doing? I see how's the job for you. Okay, I understand I wouldn't do such a job sober as well. Well, why not? Are you up to it? You're... Well, how about some Ukrainian vodka? I like the idea, simple and tasteful, want to add some clonidine. Well, yeah, why not? Let's do it. My son knows how to drink hard, but I shall not join him. I... I, I fear for my liver and his. There's a suicide heart, Balev. I will not participate in this. The mortician hands us the glass, crushes it is, uh, in the, the, uh, the pills and says, Nazdorovye. We drink up. Our blood vessels spasm, and we try to get off uh, on end. Also, alcoholism. Well, well then. Now we are an alcoholic, and I think that we did, we just deserve it, right? But however, it it was kind of a tough experience, but we do it for the team, right? We do everything for the team in here. Let's get out of there. How do we get rid of the addiction, though? That's the thing. Well, maybe we we maybe we just uh, we try to stick it out. Yeah, maybe we can just wait. We wait. We wait it out or something. Saving. We need to uh, make some meat. Get the tummy full. And then actually... Oh 
when we have a hang a hangover. Oh, our HP has been reduced significantly. Oh my god. So the guy is really messing himself up, huh? I, I mean, he drank it too, right? Clonidine. That is really... Like Fidel said, that was really suicidal. We lost like... Nearly 25 hit points. It was like a critical hit. On the liver. Okay, let's camp outside of town. Roast meat. That's good. And I think we can eat actually another one, another portion. Yeah. Yeah, 300. Well, and actually let's drink some water. Hangover, re hangover meat. Okay, so now oh, we are fine again. So it's fine. So there we go. Let's go back into the city, and I think we are going to uh, solve this cultist problem now. There you go. And we need to go to Abraham. I'm never drinking again. Oh, yeah, well, and actually, uh, that was kind of not smart. Because uh, with less personality, we have to pay higher prices. Abraham will just look at us and he will be disgusted. So let's go through the trash. That is just like the way we are just smelling out of our mouth at the moment. That's just fitting. Let's do this. Oh, there was a bottle. And there's another trash bin over there. Of the steady long legs. With the mutant legs. What does it say? What does it say here? This space intentionally left blank. Oh yeah. Okay. I wonder if we could somehow seduce the gypsy. But I guess not. So then we go down here. But my dear fellow survivors and fellow alcoholics. What happens next we will see in the next episode. So... How much ammunition do we actually have left? 13 shots. For the crossbow. Yeah, and that's like plenty. 33 shots. The hunting rifle. And then, then we could uh, shoot with our shotgun. So it's really fine. Everything's totally relaxed. Yeah. So then. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments you wish to share, please do so in the comment section. Especially what you think about combining alcohol with clonidine. That is certainly not anything that we should do in real life. Also, we should not drink so much that we have a, a real hangover, because that's always a, a sign that we drank too much for our liver. And that cost us our precious brain cells. Yeah. That being said, I would also appreciate if you click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, so never ever miss an episode again. So next time, bye-bye.